Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 of getting started with the exit can analyzer this time around showing you how to use the sequencer module so let's get right to it and start the can analyzer this time we will be using a pre-made project and a previously saved project basically you can uh, just press file open and select the project file Here we go, and it shows you the sequencer module being attached to the CAN channel 1, right here, and the sequencer window on the lower right. Uh, you can then load a pre-made sequencer file, for example. This will uh, then list the commands for the sequencer, for example, repeat several thousand times, transmit data, and uh, then we take it from there. So you can either step through the single steps of the sequence or you can have it run continuously. Just repeat the whole uh, process over and over again. In addition, you can also use the transmit module which has been attached to the CAN channel 2 and send additional data as well. You can see up here uh, the sequencer data being transmitted as well as the normal transmit data so now we're going to add a mask based on the identifier of the messages which will then be available as a filter we set the least significant significant bit to one and okay select the actual filter and there we can see that only the message with the identifier of one will actually be transmitted because we only have the identifiers 1, 2 and hex 28 being used in the system right now. Now if we want to, uh, for example, select a certain range of uh, identifiers to be displayed, we'll have to add another filter, a range filter this time around. By default all identifiers are enabled. We don't want that, we want to remove all being enabled and instead we want to add the identifier 1 and 2 not 3 pardon that was a mistake and you can see how the ranges are being split up and that the identifiers 1 and 2 are being enabled in that filter so here we go again and select the newly made filter and we can see that now only the messages 2 and 1 will actually be displayed in the receive window Now if we switch off the transmission, you see how uh, the receive window won't display any further data even though the sequencer is still running. So if we switch off the filter, we can see the sequencer data still being sent while the identifiers 1 and 2 are no longer being transmitted. And if we stop everything altogether, that's it. Alright, that's it for the sequencer. See you next time.